Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So the body snatcher, Dillian White, the WBC interim world heavyweight champion and of course mandatory challenger for the full WBC heavyweight world title, has named Alexander Povetkin and Andy Ruiz Jr. as potential opponents for next. Dillian White, I would imagine, he's probably going to be out around about April time and these are one of the two names that he would like for that one. Now, first of all, Dillian White's resume is fantastic. When you look at the entire WBC rankings right now, from the champion all the way down to number 15, Dylan White has the best resume out of all of them. It's not even disputable. Dylan White has done so much. He really, really has. So as far as him having a fight with Andy Ruiz Jr. and Alexander Povetkin, first of all, I would pick Dylan White to beat both of these guys. If Dylan White is in tip-top condition and switched on, he shouldn't have too much trouble with these guys. But, of course, they do pose a threat. It's heavyweight. And both these guys are elite fighters. And we've seen that in the past. But for me, if it's going to be for a pay-per-view, Diddy White wants a pay-per-view fight. And Sky Sports want Diddy White to be on pay-per-view. I can understand that point. I really can. But for me, I wouldn't bother with these ones. Um, if I was advising Dillian, which obviously I'm not, and D Dillian wouldn't listen, okay, because um, uh, Dillian, he likes the challenging fights. Uh, he likes to get out of bed for these kind of challenges. But... When you look at everybody else who's got a world title shot recently, who is it that they're for? Who? When Deontay Wilder got his WBC heavyweight world title shot, who did he beat? Jason Gavin is what he beat. Jason Gavin, a journeyman. Luis Ortiz, he defeated who? The first time round. Scrubs. And then when he got his rematch again, who did he fight? Again, more scrubs like Charis Kaufman and Christian Hammer and some other guy that I've forgotten his name. Dominic Brazil, within a 18-month to two-year period, he fought Eric Molina and again against another guy who I can't remember his damn name. Tyson Fury, he fought Safer Safari and Francesco Pianetta before he got his world title shot. Gerald Washington, who did he beat? Absolutely nobody. Amir Mansour, maybe. And there's been quite a few. Arthur Spilker. Chris Ariola. Who did they fight to become or get a world title shot? Absolutely nobody. But Marion Stavern to get his second shot when he got smoothed out in the first round. He had one fight within an 18-month period. One fight. Again, against a gatekeeper. So if I was Dillian White, I'd probably look at this and go, listen, these guys have had an easy run of it. Why am I making life difficult? Go fight the Marius Wax of the world. Again, look at the height, the range. He needs to be preparing for a wilder Tyson Fury winner. Tall fighters. Um, Andy Ruiz Jr., he's what, six feet tall? Alexander Povetkin, he's what, six foot two, six foot three? So these guys are nowhere near the kind of height as a Fury or a wilder. So again, in my opinion, these are probably the wrong kind of guys. As far as pay-per-view goes, sure. Much like I wouldn't even bother with a Michael Hunter. I wouldn't bother with, either, with any of these kind of guys. I would go fight the big, tall guys. The ones where we'll give him a few rounds. Ultimately, Dean White will probably end up starching them. If he's on form and he's fit. So for me, he needs to be doing what other people have been doing. Um, I know Dean White, he likes to give the fans value for money he likes to give them entertainment he likes to give them fights to look forward to but he's done that his resume is outstanding he deserves his world title shot if i was him i'd sit back a bit look at his next fight or next two fights however long it's going to take for him to get his world title shot and just look at these as target practice range finders personally that's what i would do but as standalone fight Dylan white versus andrew is jr Dylan white versus alexander povetkin cool but ultimately, why give these guys the opportunity? When Alexander Povetkin, when he was um, mandatory for the uh, WBA, before he got a Joshua fight, he refused to give Dillian White a world title shot or an opportunity to become mandatory of that one. So why would Dillian reverse the favour? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But, hey, listen, Dillian will do whatever Dillian's going to do. Dillian needs these kind of fights to get out of bed for, to get into the gym to whip himself into shape. I get that point. But for me, 
when, when you look at the other ones, whoever's got world title shots before, mate, just sit back, you know, just enjoy your Christmas and enjoy your 2020 until you get your world title shot, because you may not get it until February 2021, um, especially if Wilder is champion, because he isn't going to bring the fight forward. He just isn't going to do it. If Wilder's still champion, it's going to be February 2021, so why take risks? Why take them? Anyway, that's my thoughts on it all. You drop me yours. Click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all on the next video.